Hello, you are watching Sora Lab. I'm your host, Dr. Nobody, and welcome back to Jurassic Park. So, we are back on Jurassic Craft. Uh, now, first of all, you may notice, uh, well, that my footsteps are way too loud. Let's fix that. What I was saying is, you may notice the texture pack is different. We were using Faithful before. Today, we are using... Jurassic Rebuild. And I quite like it. Uh, it's it's it, it has a bunch of pretty interesting aesthetics. Of course, it is based on Jurassic Park. Um, so, like, a lot of the paintings have been made into Jurassic Park things and stuff. So, it's quite a cool resource pack. I wanted to ask you guys, though... Do, uh, do you prefer... What do you prefer? This resource pack or faithful that we were using last time um because we're gonna play we're, we're this this episode we're definitely gonna play with jurassic rebuild um and so that you guys can sort of see what it looks like over the course of today and yeah so just tell me in the comments do you prefer jurassic rebuild or faithful now uh i found a village as you can see uh by where i'm standing so I've, I've been exploring a good bit. I, I went up and found a desert to get some uh, sugar cane. And there's the home. I made. I dug a mine down here. And I found a village with a laboratory. That is this building here. This is uh, added by Jurassic Craft. And it's kind of a it's, it's kind of a treasure trove. Watch. So we go inside. Oh yeah, look at the door by the way. This is this is with Jurassic Rebuild the oak door. It looks like the um uh, the visitor center doors from Jurassic Park, which is awesome. But anyway, let's head inside. Okay, so what have we got here? Sequencer, DNA sequencer, and DNA com combinator hybridizer, two of each. So yeah, there's there's like a random sort of uh, there, there's a random assortment of. Lab of lab laboratory machines along here in each of these. Uh, we were a little bit unlucky to get two of two to get two, only two different things, uh, but yeah, those will help us anyway because those are two things that we're definitely going to need, and we don't have to build them now. And then there's also well, there's also some glowstone, which I'm going to steal. Um, and there's also a mushroom. Which is exciting, but I'm, I'm not. I don't really care. Uh, and then there's this chest, which is full of all kinds of stuff. We got syringes, test tubes, petri dishes, DNA nucleotides, plant fossil, and a disk drive. So yeah, and some bookshelves, which I will take. All right. What have you got? 21 coal for an emerald. That is a terrible trade. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna go back home now. Um, back to the waterfall. Uh, look at that. Bam. Screenshot. Okay. So, let me put away some stuff. Uh, all of this can go away. I was mining a bu I, I mined a bunch off camera. So we have a bunch of redstone, lapis, gold redstone and stuff a uh, ton of iron as well as you can see from here um oh this is actually al aluminium right i've been smelt so i've been smelting a bunch of stuff basically um and yeah let's just put all this away and now we're gonna just sort of see what we can do here. So, there's, so, I also have got a bunch of fossils, as you might have seen here. We have eight Velociraptor, three Coelacanth, three Microraptor, eight Brachiosaurus, <coughs> excuse me, uh, two Mosaurus, four Gallimimus, three Parasaurolophus, 13 Triceratops. So we've got a bunch of those. What do we do with them, though? Well, I'll show you. This is going to be kind of an educational video 
about the mod. So basically what we gotta do here is hopefully we have enough iron. Speaking of which, let's get some more let's let's get the rest of the iron cooking. I don't I, I know that cooking is the impro is not a, the proper term for what you do with iron, but uh, I don't care. So as you can see I've searched if you if you type at and then the name of a mod on here, it will show you like everything from that mod. So I've typed at Jurassic and it's showing me everything from Jurassic Craft. And only that. So the first thing that we need is the cleaning station. So I, of course I've got any I've got any eye, so I can just see what it is. Uh, it's two blocks of iron, a bucket, three iron ingots, a glass pane, and two bits of redstone. So I oh, excuse me. I think the glass is going to be the main thing that we need to think about there. So I'm going to smelt six. I'm going to cook six glass or six sand rather. And then meanwhile I'm going to make some of this other stuff so we can make a bucket. We can make two iron blocks and there we go. We also need redstone, so I'll get that out. And once this is all done and smelted, we can turn it into panes and then we will be able to sort of um you know, do the thing. Uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of layers to this. So, in, like, in, if you remember in fossils and archaeology, all that we, all that we really did was, um, like, you have to just stick the, um, stick the fossil, like, you dig the fossil, you stick it, you stick the fossil in a, in one machine, you get DNA and you stick the DNA in another machine and you get an egg. Here, there's a lot more sticking in and out of machines and a lot more like weird little things to build. So it's very sciencey. So anyway, let's build this. We've got the cleaning station. And now, what, I'm just gonna put it here for now. Let me take that torch and put it in a better position. Do that as well. Okay, so I'm gonna put it here. Um, we probably want to actually cover up this window, uh, thinking about it, because we're going to have our machines lined up against this wall. I'll move the bed to the center. Right, so we've got our cleaning station. What do you do with the cleaning station, though? Well, I will show you. You put a bucket of water in it, first of all. Then you get your fossil of choice. Uh, we are going to go with Triceratops, since it's the one we have the most of. And you stick it in there, and you see it fills it up with water, and it uses this water to clean the fossil. Now, the water will go down, so we have to get more eventually. But as you can see, it, it cleans it, and you get a fossil. So this is a Triceratops neck vertebra, or neck vertebrae. It's a multiple. And there's another neck vertebrae. And it can get, like, there's all different kinds, as you can see over here. There's, like, all different parts of the skeleton you can get. So like there's a rib cage. And as we get these, they then need to go into a different machine. Uh, before we do that though, I'm just gonna go get some water so we can make sure to keep that in there and make sure it keeps going. Neck vertebrae again. Shoulder bones. Right. So what is the next machine that we need? Well, it is a... Here, I'll just search for it directly. Uh, fossil... Oh, there it is. Fossil grinder. So this needs lapis, redstone, iron, piston. Okay, so we got most of that already. Let's take the rest of this iron. Now, let's see. So, piston. Bam. Done. Made a piston. This, we need sticks, so let's just do that. Then, okay, so we get, this gives us four iron rods, we only need one, but just make that, then make the iron blades, which only gives you one for some reason, and then we make the fossil grinder. And we're gonna stick it right here, and I'm gonna show you what to do with it. So, 
we take our look at all this we got a skull hind leg bones pelvis horn front leg bones so we stick all of our fossil bits in the fossil grinder and it grinds them down and either you either get soft tissue or rubbish stuff like bone meal and flint you would hope for the soft tissue as you can see here we got flint now if you have enough fossils you're bound to get soft tissue eventually and there you go we got triceratops soft tissue now for the next thing so we're gonna let this sort of uh, go, uh, keep going and get all the stuff that we need. Meanwhile, I'm going to do the Velociraptor in the cleaning station, which means I'm also going to go get more water. It is already nighttime. What the heck? I hate how short the days are in Minecraft. It's stupid. Okay, uh, let's just stick that in there so it doesn't run out. Also, after tail vertebrae. Yeah, so we're doing the Velociraptor, we're cleaning it, and we're grinding the Triceratops. Stick the rest of that in there. And then... Looks like we are getting a little bit more iron from here. One more to come. And let's take that while we're here. Bam. Okay. Now, actually, at this point, the next machine is the DNA sequencer. Now, we already have one of these. If you don't have one, this is how you make it. You need iron, a computer screen, which is uh, a bit of a difficult thing. Um because you actually need nether quartz for it um, and a bunch of dyes so the computer screen is a bit of an odd is a bit of an annoying one analyzers as well you need a laser which is a, which needs a diamond um, also you need a disk drive which also needs a laser which needs a diamond so in total just for this machine you need one two three four diamonds and a nether quartz so yeah, it's pretty, it's uh, it's it's pretty brutal, but uh, you can do it if you have all those materials. Uh, I guess I'm gonna stick the Velociraptor stuff in here. Oh look, we got another Triceratops soft tissue. Now that's good. You want as much soft tissue as you can get because you're not guaranteed to get a good sample when you analyze or um, rather sequence this soft tissue. So, speaking of which, let's just put down our sequencer. And now, we actually need another thing. So, this slot, these slots here, these are for the soft tissue. But these slots are for storage disks. Because when you sequence the DNA, you need to store it on a disk. How do we make storage disks? Let's find out. Store disc okay so we need iron nuggets and a basic circuit which sounds crazy like you're like oh my god computers what but it's actually really easy it's just redstone gold and iron so that means we need gold and i think we have enough redstone so let's just do this and oh that's right we need to turn our iron into nuggets let's do that a couple times 27 all right Let's grab a couple of these, we'll do four, then bang, we got four storage disks. That will be enough for now. Oh look, we got one Velociraptor soft tissue. Great. Oh, we have one more bone to do though, see if that gets us any more. Alright, so, now we're, I'm going to put the disks in here, and the soft tissue in here. Velociraptor and two Triceratops, and it's going to take forever, but as you can see, it's starting to sequence them. When it comes over here, you'll, it'll take away the soft tissue and the discs, and you'll get three, and you'll get a disc for each one of a DNA of that animal of a random quality. And the quality matters very much, because you can't make a dinosaur unless it's 100% quality. At least, that's what I think. I'm going to sleep. Um... That's what I've been told, is that you can't make it unless it's 100% quality. Um, so you gotta hope, like, we, we have two Triceratops here. Now you gotta hope that they are, that when you combine, if you can combine them, which is what this, this machine is for, 
uh, if you if you can combine them, that you got you gotta hope that it will that together they will make enough data for a full a hundred percent quality genome. Like if we get ten percent and five percent, that's not gonna work. We're only gonna have fifteen when we put it together. But if we get seventy five percent and fifty percent easy that's like that, that's over a hundred so we can just combine them together it used to be back in the 1.7.10 days it used to be that you needed the exact right amount so it had to be like 70 and 25 you couldn't do 70 and 50 or uh or, or um or anything like that it, it was really really weird and annoying but now we can nowadays we can just combine anything as and it will go but the max is 100. Like, you can't get more than 100%. Okay, so we got Triceratops, 30%. And Triceratops, 45%. That's not going to be 100, but it'll be close. And Velociraptor, only 5%. Great. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, but we got another Velociraptor. So we're going to stick that in there with our last empty storage disk and let that sequence itself. So, meanwhile, we got these. Now it's time for the Combinator. Now this machine has two modes. There's a Combinator and a Hybridizer. At the moment, the Hybridizer doesn't do anything. So we're just looking at the Combinator. We're going to put the tricer the two Triceratops. It has to be the same dinosaur. Uh, and it's going to, as you can see, the little arrow is going to fill up. It's going to combine these two. And we're going to get a sum of these two percentages in one disk. So, then, then I kind of forget what happens. Uh, let's go at Jurassic and see. I think it is the synthesizer next, which needs a computer screen, which, needs we, which means we need to go to the nether. Shouldn't be a problem in theory, because if I make a bucket and then steal this bucket from here as well, I should be able to easily go to the nether if I f can get a lava pool nearby. I see one over there. So tell you what, I'll go get, I'll go to that lava pool and then we'll work out what we need to do. Okay, so here we are at the lava pool. Um, now there's now there's a very there's there's a few ways that you can do this, uh, and by this I mean making another portal without a diamond pickaxe, and those ways are one you could do it the slow way where you just literally take a a lava bucket, bam, put it on the ground, water, and like build up a little scaffolding with cobblestone and do it like all uh, one block at a time, or there's another way, which I don't really understand, to be honest. It's kind of insane. Um, and but, but we're going to try it, because uh, I'm, I'm crazy. So, <laughs> no, so, right. you got to find... Sorry, I'm, I'm just completely blanking on what I'm meant to do here. I think what it should be is that you should make... You should bring out two blocks like this and put water there, right? You can then break this one. And then what we should do is actually take lava from here and put it there. And then break this one. Yes. Yes. Okay, so this is the base of our portal now. And then... And then... I have no idea what to do. Actually, I think it's something like this. You go up... Uh, here, I'll, I'm just going to fill in this lava here. So you go up like this. No, it needs to be one higher. 
and you so you go like this. Uh, cr um, if I can get it right, uh, credit to Dream on YouTube for this incredible uh, <laughs> uh, this incredible thing. I'll 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 link it. Uh, I'll, I'll link a vid I'll link a video where he shows you how to do it um, in the description, hopefully. But yeah, let me just no. Okay, so that's what you need not to happen because you need enough lava to build the portal. I think we still have enough here, so we're fine. But I'm gonna block it off, and let's try that again. So right, we've got this now. It's just a matter of we should actually build up on this side as well. Then we take our lava, and we just go bam, 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 and then bam, bam, bam. Then you take that away, and... In theory, you should just go bam, take lava, bam. No, that's not what you want to do. You want to take this away. Um, you want to build up, do this, put that there, do this, take that, bring this up again, do that, take a lava, Place it there, take the water, and there you go, you have another portal. That was not nearly as, uh, <laughs> that was not done nearly as easily and smoothly as I would have hoped. But, maybe eventually, one day, I'll learn. Anyway, let's just take all this down. And there's our nether portal. So, actually, technically, we didn't need to make it this tall, because there's this is obsidian down here, so it, it, had, it, it could have been one block lower. But, either way, that's fine. Now we need some flint, which I luckily have. I was about to go get gravel, but I remembered that I have flint from the thing. The dinosaur bones. And you light the portal. And there we go. We're just going to hop inside, get one, mine one vein of nether quartz, and get out. Of course, there won't be any monsters, because I've turned monster spawning off. But, oh, great. We're in an undergarden. We need to be... I think we need to be in hell to find netherrack. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the butt, isn't it? Okay, well, I'm going to put a portal marker here. So I can get back. And then let's just, I guess, see what we can do. I think that's hell over there, so should be okay. Tell you what, I'll just go get this and then we'll come back. Okay, we are leaving the nether. I've got my nether quartz. I like, in this texture pack, it looks like, uh, like a, a dinosaur skull, which is quite funny. Um, I should do a marker here for the poor, not the puddle, poor, Chow. Okay. And let's go home. And now we have the ingredient... Well, we have the, m the most important ingredient we need. We also need a few more. We need rose red. As well as cactus green. And uh, lapis lazuli, which we have. So, rose red means we need to find poppy flowers. Which are probably at the village. Of course, this texture this texture pack is a little bit weird, and poppies aren't red anymore, so I, I, I get confused. What is this? See, this is a poppy. I see. I, <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyway, let me just get that. We got our red, and I think I have some cactus from the desert back at home. So let's just go back. Um... Where might said cactus be? I know I'm, I'm I'm sure I got cactus. Really? Did I really not get cactus? Okay, maybe I just thought I did. 
Let me just, I know that there's cactus in the desert, so I'll just go there. Grab this, bam. And go home. Right, um, I'm gonna plant a cactus right there so we can grow more. And this cactus is gonna be cooked into green. And then we should have all the materials that we need to make this computer screen. Uh, although we do need to make a basic cir another basic circuit, so let's just do that right now. And there we go. Get out our cactus screen. Bam, okay. Computer screen, bam, done. Okay, synthesizer, the other things we need are two advanced circuits, which require two uh, basic circuits each. So we're gonna do that. Then we are going to, we need some more nuggets. There we go, okay, bam. We gonna do this. One, two, okay. And disk drive we have somewhere, there it is. So, bam, boom, synthesizer, done. Put this down, synthesizer, on there. Okay, now, we need DNA nucleotides and test tubes, which we luckily got from the place. Now, you gotta be aware that when you put, so, first of all, we actually need a full quality animal uh, before we can even do anything here. So, I'm gonna, wash off the Brachiosaurus and hope that we get some quality uh, content from that. Meanwhile, I'm going to put this stuff away. Uh, all this stuff can go away for now. Um, and so, you gotta have a 100% uh, DNA percentage, so I'm just going to grind the Brachiosaurus put it through the synthesizer. Oh wait, what did we get here? Wait a minute. Now look at this. 5% and 95%. That will make exactly 100. That is so lucky that we got 95% on that second Velociraptor soft tissue. Oh my gosh. I don't think that's ever worked out that way for me before. Okay. So these, so these two, they're going to combinate together and become 100% Velociraptor. And we'll use that as our example for uh, for now. So basically, so now I'll I'll, t I'll tell you what's what's what it's up with this while that's happening. So the disc is infinite. Once you have a hundred percent on a disc of a given creature, you can make an infinite number of that creature from the same disc. The limiting factor is the is how many nucleotides and test tubes you have. You can make more of these, and I'll show you how at some point, probably. But actually, I'll just tell you how. DNA nucleotides is a glass is a a glass water bottle uh, cooked in a furnace, and test tubes is this recipe right here. Just two glass on top of each other gives you eight. So anyway, you put so the number of DNA samples you get from the synthesizer depends on how many, on how much resources you have. So if I put three nucleotides in there and 15 test tubes, uh, it's going to go until it runs out of one of them. So we'll get three, sam three uh, DNA samples in test tubes um, from here because there's, three, there's only three nucleotides and it can't make any more once it runs out of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our 100% raptor, we're going to put it in there, and it's going to make three. Now I can control how many I want. I could say, well, I only want you to make one, or two, or three. And I could do the same with the test tubes. I could uh, sort of uh, control it that way as well. So you're in charge of how many you make, so just keep that in mind. If you put a stack of these in here, you're going to just continue making... <laughs> uh, uh, samples forever until you like 64 samples you'll make if you put stacks of these so yeah keep that in mind what have we got here a bunch of brachiosaur oh look we got a soft tissue that's good uh, uh, we need another storage disk how do we make those again uh, storage disk okay we need to get out our materials gold iron and redstone. Just 
gonna make a few more of these. No. Bam. Uh, this. Bam. I'll just make all the ones that I can. I will make a bunch more iron nuggets. Bam. We can make 12 storage disks. Let's just plunk all... Uh, Okay, we can only put one in at a time. So I'll just pu I'll just put that in there, and that'll do its thing. Oh, look, we got another one. Bam. And bam. Okay. So there we go. Now, what have we got over here? We got one Velociraptor DNA in a test tube so far. Now, the next machine that we need... Oh, and there's a second one. Uh, the next machine that we need is the embryonic machine. So let me look for that. Embryonic machine. This one's pretty simple, uh, actually. You just need glowstone, piston, buttons, and iron. So, yeah, let's just do that. So, let's get some wood. One, two, three. Three buttons. Okay. Uh, piston. Bam. Right. And glowstone. That's in here. Okay. Bam. Embryonic machine. Done. Easy. Get out our cobblestone. Place that there. Okay. So now... This is actually going to fit perfectly because there's only one more uh, machine in the line before the incubation. Before the incubation. So that, and that's going to go right here at the end. So it's perfect. It fit, fits perfectly. So now... Embryonic machine. You're going to take your samples. So you can see the disc still there we still have that sample forever it's it's literally infinite which is great so yeah we've got three velociraptor dna's now and we've got an embryonic machine what you do with this is you take a petri dish and an empty syringe and you place those in there this one is limited by how much dna you have now i really like this because it it, it really um it, it makes uh, it actually makes a whole bunch, a whole bunch of sense what you're doing here you take the DNA, you got a DNA in a test tube, right? You put it here, which means it's poured into the Petri dish, and then the syringe sucks it up, and you get a syringe of the DNA. So look, it's just like you do, it's, it's, it's science, right? Like, this is, this is how you do it, I think. I mean, I've, I've not put, I've not, uh, put Velociraptor DNA in a syringe many times myself, but I think that's how it works, um, and we're just gonna do that with all of them. This is this one is limited by how much DNA you have because uh, because the DNA is a, a finite resource once it's in a test tube. So you see there, it's been transferred to the syringe. You gotta get if you want more, you gotta get it through the synthesizer. And this is gonna be our final one. Bam. Okay, Velociraptor syringes, three of them, and then finally. You need the embryo calcification machine, which is a little more complicated, but not too bad. We need a couple basic circuits. What else do we need? Okay, we need a comp we need a keyboard. Now that is buttons. Okay, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bits of stone, and that's uh, and, and that's like m normal stone. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you smelt down 11 cobblestone in the furnace into regular stone, as you can see. And then we'll be able to make the keyboard. Meanwhile, what else do we need? We need a bowl, which means we need some more plankage. So let's make that. Let's do bowl. There we go. Then what else do we need? We need iron rods, which we still have three of right here, but we do need to make more. Bam. Okay. Block of iron. Bam. And all we need now is the keyboard. Which means we just need to wait for this stone to cook. Right. Okay. 11 stone. Now, we're going to make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 buttons. One pressure plate and one set of stone slabs. Then we can make the keyboard, and then we can make the embryonic machine. And 
put away the excess slabs, excess rods. Okay, now we're just going to place this machine down at the end of the line, right there. And now we need an egg, which means we're going to sleep. This is the point when you actually turn the DNA into, you actually put, you actually use the syringe to inject the DNA into an egg that could be uh, incubated and hatched. Now, oh, oops, my sugar cane has grown. That's good. Um, oh, and the cactus. How exciting. Um, but I don't know if we're going to do that today. Because I don't think I'm ready to hatch three velociraptors. Um, but what we will do is we will scout around to find a place where we could put them. Now, I am thinking uh, somewhere up in this area, because it's kind of a uh, nice secluded little valley. Um, probably I'm thinking if this is the helipad right here, we're going to build like the proper helipad from, the, from Jurassic Park. Uh, I would think that the most of our building uh, and our most of our park is going to be south of the helipad. Um, so to the north, it's just kind of a little valley that I don't know what, what else we do with. So I think somewhere in the middle of here we could build our little secret raptor enclosure. So I'm just gonna like sort of scout. Look, we can just look around this area and try to find a relatively flat section. This could work here. It's just so hard to see with all the trees. Let me see. Hmm. Oh look, there's some moss. We'll need the moss very soon in the next uh, when, or maybe not next episode, but when we make the dinosaurs, we will need the moss. This could work right here, this little inlet valley bit. Uh, it's kind of thin, though. Yeah, it is pretty thin. I don't think this will work. I can't see through all the trees. I'm sure there's a few places in here that we could make it work. Like this bit here, we could flatten it. But I think we're going to cut it there. So next episode, hopefully, maybe, we'll have, we'll e either we'll have dinosaurs or we'll be preparing to have dinosaurs. Um, and I do, and, um, so, so yeah, we're, we'll be thinking about dinosaurs and what we're going to do about them in the next episode. Uh, for now, though... Don't forget to tell me in the comments what you think of the resource pack and whether we should use it or go back to what we had before. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to wash your hands. I've been Dr. Nobody. Goodbye.